The future of robotics is here, and it's more fascinating than ever. Have you ever seen a robotic fish so lifelike that even other fish might mistake it for one of their own? Now, think of a world where butterflies can be directed with a remote. Or how about a pint-sized flying robot that buzzes around your garden? And then, there are the rescuers you'd never expect. Part bug, part machine. Welcome back to another amazing episode of Forever Green. Today, we'll show you 12 of the coolest, most ingenious robot animals. From tiny robotic ants working together to flying robots that perfectly mimic the complex wing movements of bats, these creations are nothing short of revolutionary. And just when you think you've seen it all, wait till we reveal a creation at the end that's giving new life to the term recycled technology. You won't want to miss this. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump right in. 12. Festo's Bionic Ants Imagine ants that don't raid your picnic, but instead work together like a well-oiled machine, literally. Each bionic ant mimics the real deal, not just in looks, but in behavior. Unlike the ants that might march into your kitchen, these mechanical marvels are designed to work together in a factory setting to move objects, solve problems, and even make decisions as a group. But how do they do it? These little robots use something called swarm intelligence. This means each ant can communicate and cooperate with its buddies to perform tasks much like real ants do when they build bridges or carry food. They use tiny sensors and cameras to see their environment and tiny pincers to manipulate objects. The magic behind these bionic bugs is their design. Each bionic ant has a sleek metallic body and electronic circuits that mimic the muscles and nerves of real ants. Powered by rechargeable batteries, they have enough juice to work for a whole day before needing a recharge. Just plug them in overnight like your phone. 11. Robo Bee Move over, honeybees. There's a new buzzer in town, and it doesn't sting. Meet the Robo Bee, a pint-sized flying robot that might just be the future of pollination and surveillance. Designed by clever folks at Harvard, the Robo Bee is a feat of engineering marvel. This tiny robot can flap its wings 120 times per second, just like a real bee buzzing around your garden. But instead of collecting pollen, the Robo Bee could one day take on jobs like crop monitoring, traffic control, or even sneaking into tight spaces during search and rescue missions. What makes the Robo Bee so special? It's incredibly lightweight, weighing less than a paperclip. This allows it to zip through the air with ease. Its wings are made from a thin, flexible material that can mimic the gentle beating of a bee's wings. The Robo Bee's movements are powered by tiny actuators, which are like miniature motors, that contract when electricity is applied. This contraction pulls the wings down to mimic the flapping motion. 10. Octobot Who says robots need to be hard and bulky? Meet Octobot, the world's first entirely soft robot, inspired by none other than the soft-bodied octopus. It's made entirely out of soft materials, which means no rigid parts, no sharp edges, and definitely no oil leaks. Its creators at Harvard University decided it was high time to ditch the traditional hard robotics. But how does a robot without any hard parts move, you ask? Magic, just kidding, it's chemistry. The Octobot is powered by a reaction that turns a small amount of hydrogen peroxide into a large amount of gas, which flows into the robot's arms and inflates them like balloons. This inflation pushes the arms to move and wiggle. The whole system is controlled by a tiny network of fluidic logic circuits, which sounds super technical. But think of it as a mini water park for gas, guiding it where to go and when to puff up the robot's limbs. If you like this video so far, Leave a like and you can also check out 15 advanced and futuristic work vehicles on our channel for Evergreen. 9. Biohybrid Zebrafish This isn't your average fish in the pet store. Scientists have created a robotic fish that swims so naturally, other fish might not even notice it's a robot. This isn't just any robotic fish, it's a biohybrid. That means it's part living cells, part robotic machinery. Scientists have engineered it to mimic the swimming style of a real zebrafish, one of the most common aquarium fishes. The biohybrid zebrafish uses muscle cells that are grown in a lab and then attached to a tiny robotic skeleton. When these muscles receive electrical signals, they contract just like they would in a real fish, pushing the biohybrid zebrafish through the water with natural movements. 
Why go to all this trouble to create a robotic fish, you might wonder? Well, these little swimmers could be crucial for environmental monitoring. They can sneakily swim around coral reefs or pollution sites, gathering data without disturbing the ecosystem. Plus, in fish farms, they could be used to observe and manage the health of fish populations. 8. Emotion – Butterflies Have you ever wished you could control butterflies with a remote? Well, someone out there did, and they made the emotion butterflies. Created by the clever folks at Festo, yes, the same ones who brought you those robotic ants. These emotion butterflies are a remarkable blend of beauty and engineering. Each emotion butterfly has two wings, coated in a thin, flexible material that mimics the delicate nature of real butterfly wings. The wings are attached to tiny motors that allow them to flap gently, propelling the butterfly through the air. What's even cooler is that these robotic butterflies are equipped with small sensors and cameras that help them navigate and avoid crashing into things, like windows or overly curious cats. But why make robotic butterflies, you ask? Well, these fluttering bots are part of research into more efficient ways to use automation in complex environments. Currently, the e-motion butterflies need to be programmed and monitored closely, as their navigation systems aren't quite ready for the wild yet. 7. Manta Droid If you've ever wondered at the elegant glide of a manta ray through the ocean, you'll appreciate the genius behind the manta droid. Created to mimic the effortless movement of the manta ray, the manta droid is part of a growing family of bio-inspired robots. Unlike traditional underwater vehicles that rely on propellers and can be a bit bulky and noisy, this robotic ray uses flexible fins to propel itself through the water. These fins are designed to mimic the natural rolling movements of real manta rays, allowing the manta droid to move through the water silently and efficiently. Why does this matter, you ask? Well, imagine trying to study shy marine creatures or fragile coral reefs with a loud, intrusive submarine. The manta droid offers a stealthy alternative that could help scientists get up close and personal with underwater life. So, the next time you're at the beach, keep an eye on the water you might just spot a manta droid silently gliding by. Talking about robotic animals, you can also check out our video on 20 scary robotic animals you must see. 6. Robotic Millipede Just when you thought robots couldn't get any cooler, or creepier, depending on your take on leggy creatures, enter the robotic millipede. Inspired by the natural world's own multi-legged critters, the robotic millipede boasts an impressive array of legs, each one engineered to mimic the efficient, wave-like motion of a millipede's stroll. The real beauty of this design isn't just its ability to scare your socks off at first glance, but its exceptional capability to navigate through rough, uneven surfaces where wheels and treads might falter. Its many legs provide stability and adaptability, allowing it to move smoothly over obstacles and debris. Perfect. Plus, each leg operates independently, so if one goes out of commission, the robotic millipede just keeps on creeping. But why create a robotic bug that could potentially haunt your nightmares? The answer is simple, versatility. The robotic millipede can carry sensors and cameras into places that are either too small or too hazardous for humans or larger robots. This makes it a perfect candidate for search and rescue missions, environmental monitoring, and even archeological explorations in narrow passages that haven't seen the light of day for centuries. Five, cyborg cockroaches. Now, before you shriek and reach for the bug spray, hear me out on this one. Part real cockroach, part robot. These cyborgs could be the first responders under the rubble in disaster zones. Researchers have equipped these resilient insects with tiny electronic backpacks that can control their movements. The electronic backpacks they carry are equipped with microcontrollers that tap into the cockroach's antennae and abdominal segments, guiding their movements towards specific directions as needed. It sounds a bit like mind control, doesn't it? Well, it's for a good cause. These cyborg cockroaches are designed to enter and navigate through tight, dangerous spaces that are inaccessible or too risky for humans and dogs. But what's in it for the cockroaches, right? Well, they get to be heroes for starters. Plus, they're not going in blind. They carry tiny cameras, microphones, or other sensors that can transmit live data back to rescue teams. 
This can include locating survivors or assessing hazardous conditions that might impede human rescue efforts. 4. Batbot Ever wondered what it would be like if Batman's cape could actually fly? Well, scientists at Caltech have brought us a step closer with the Batbot, a flying robot that mimics the unique and intricate wing movements of bats. Bats are known for their incredible flying skills, thanks to their flexible wings. A real bat uses over 40 joints to move its wings and fly so effortlessly. However, packing 40 joints into a robot would make it less of a sleek flyer and more of a tangled mess. So the team at Caltech optimized their design to include just nine key joints, allowing the BatBot to perform smooth glides, sharp turns, and even controlled dives without turning into a mechanical heap. The real trick to BatBot's success is its wings. Instead of heavy motors and gears, its wings are made of a super thin, lightweight silicone membrane that stretches just like a bat's wings. This material choice allows for more natural wing movements, making the BatBot's flight patterns eerily similar to those of its living inspirations. 3. Pluribot Next on our parade of robotic animals is Pluribot, a robot designed not just to look like a salamander, but to move like one too. Why a salamander, you might wonder? Well, salamanders have a unique way of moving that could teach us a lot about vertebrate locomotion. They can crawl on land with a certain grace and swim through water just as elegantly. To capture these movements, the engineers and scientists equipped Pluribot with several motors and joints that meticulously mimic the vertebral twists and turns of real salamanders. Pluribot's design is based on 3D X-ray videos of real salamanders in action. The team carefully analyzed the footage to understand which joints were crucial for different types of movements. This research led them to equip Pluribot with fewer joints than the living model, but enough to perform a convincing impression, crawling and swimming in ways that are remarkably lifelike. You think this is amazing? Wait until you see the number one, it will blow your mind. Two, spider necrobots. Okay, this might be the ultimate in recycling, turning dead spiders into robotic grippers. Yes, you read that right, dead spiders. Scientists at Rice University took a walk on the wild side to explore an utterly unique idea, giving dead spiders a new lease on life as robotic grippers. Now, why on earth would anyone want to turn deceased spiders into robots? It's not just for the Halloween vibes. Spiders, even in death, have a naturally occurring hydraulic system within their legs. Normally, when alive, a spider controls its legs using hydraulic pressure, flexing and relaxing them to move about. When they pass away, this system locks up, causing the legs to curl inward. By harnessing this natural mechanism, researchers can manipulate these dead spiders' legs to open and close like a gripper. They do this by injecting air into the spiders, which reactivates the hydraulic system, allowing the legs to unfurl and grip objects. In micromanufacturing and handling of delicate materials, these natural grippers could be very useful. They're lightweight, biodegradable, and surprisingly strong for their size. One, Spot Mini. Last on our list, but certainly not the least, is Spot Mini the robot dog that's all set to become your next non-furry best friend. Created by Boston Dynamics, Spot Mini is part of a new breed of robotic pets that can navigate around your home, pick up objects, and even help with chores. Yes, you heard that right, chores. Forget teaching old dogs new tricks. This robo dog comes pre-programmed with them. Spot Mini is essentially a smaller version of its big brother, Spot but packs a punch with its agility and functionality. It weighs about 55 pounds, or in pet terms, about as much as a large golden retriever, minus the shedding. This four-legged marvel doesn't just walk. It trots, dances, and sidesteps with the smoothness of a well-oiled machine, which it literally is. One of the coolest features of Spot Mini is its arm. Yes, this dog has an arm, extending from its back, capable of manipulating objects. It can open doors, pick up cups, and even handle fragile items with the delicacy of a sommelier. The arm is equipped with sensors and cameras that help it see and interpret the world around it, making it not just handy, but also incredibly smart. So next time you see a butterfly or a bat, take a second look. It might just be a robot in disguise. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more captivating adventures from Forever Green.